We continue now at the top of Daf Chav Tesam and Beis and Maseches Nazir. This is Nazir Daf Twenty Nine B. The Gemara is in the middle of bringing a brisa that's discussing the shita of Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehuda, talking about a situation where a woman is not sure whether she gave birth or not. So the halach is she does bring a carbon, but the carbon is not eaten, and the Gemara is in, in the brisa rather is in the middle of explaining why the carbon is not eaten. Lo imamrit bezacher because we only say that by a male. Let's say have a situation of a male who brings a carbon in a suffix situation, not sure whether he did an or not, he brings an asham taloi. So there the carbon is eaten. Shekain iser echad because it only involves one iser, it only involves one prohibition. Tomar ben Ekeva, whereas by the situation of the female bringing the carbon, in the situation, let's say, she's not sure whether she gave birth or not, so there, shashne iser, and there, there are two prohibitions that are involved, and therefore the carbon is not going to be eaten. Rashi explains, Amrit loim amrit, bezochar lekachu nechel. Why is it by the male, when the male is bringing the carbon, that we say the carbon is eaten? Shekain ein bo, ele iserecha, there's only one iser over here. The dilma shuman, who may be, meaning maybe the person did not violate any prohibition. Maybe he didn't eat chayla, he ate shuman. And mai do'achal, v'hashto kamaisi, chulun lazar. And the one prohibition is that he's bringing chulun lazar. That's just iserecha, so that carbon can be eaten. Tomer ben Akeva, but when we're talking about a female, the Dilma Ruach Hipila, maybe she didn't really give birth to a child, or Dava Shalom is Chayvala Karban, is something where there is no Chiv Karban, the Kapaga Bishnei Sur, and the Brisa tells us there are two prohibitions over here, uh, presumably because the carbon we're talking about is a bird carbon. And so the Gemara now says, My Shnei Yisurin, what are these two Yisurin we're talking about? Lav Yisur Nevela, V'chul and Bazara, the two prohibitions are, not only is there a prohibition of Chul and Bazara, but you also have a prohibition of Yisur Nevela, because by a bird carbon, what is performed is Malika, and if this is not really a carbon, because we're talking about a situation of Suffolk over here, we don't know if it's a carbon, so then it's going to be a Nevela, because it's not really a good Shechita, you're doing a Malika on, an, on a bird, which really isn't a carbon. But the point of bringing this is that this is a contradiction with what we said on the previous summit within the Shechita, of Rabbi Yossi Rabbi Yehuda, because we said according to Rabbi Yossi Rabbi Yehuda, there is no Isra Nevela, there is no Chul and Bazara on a Doraisa level, because we said that by birds, there's no Doraisa requirement for Shechita, according to Rabbi Yossi Rabbi Yehuda, and the Isra of Chul and Bazara, that also is not an Isra Doraisa, that's what we said in the previous Amid, that contradicts what we're saying right here. And so the Gemara continues, Maskif law, Ravacha Breder Ravika. Ravacha Breder Ravika asks on this and says, No, maybe the explanation of the Brisa is as follows. And maybe all the Brisa means to say is this is a situation where it appears like two different Isurim, but just, just the Rabbanan Isurim. Maybe the Brisa is not saying that this is actually a situation of Isurim Mido Raisa. And the Gemara continues, Let us say that this issue is a Machlokas Tanoim that refers to the issue discussed. Discussed on the previous summit, why is it that a father is able to make his son, who is a minor, into a nazir? One opinion was it's a halacha by nazir, it's a halacha lemoshim isinai, and the other opinion was it's a din of chinuch. That would be a din of chinuch midr abonan, teaching him about the ideas and the laws of nazir. And so it says over here, Ad Masai Madiras Beno Benazir. It says in the Bryce, so until when is a person able to make his son into a Nazir, meaning how old is the son? How old does the son get where it's no longer allowed to make your son into a Nazir? And the first opinion is Ad Shayavish De Saros, until the son brings forth two hairs of maturity, meaning when he reaches maturity, when he's an adult on a Doraisa level. Divre Rebbe, that's the opinion of Rebbe, meaning all the way until he's a, an adult, a mature adult, until that point in time, the father is able to make his son a Nazir. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehuda, Omer Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehuda says, Ad al Onas Nadarim. You're allowed to do it until the time of Onas Nadarim, which is really a year before maturity. That's the time when we say that an individual is able to understand the Nadarim, the vows that he is taking. And so the Gemara says, My love is it not saying as follows, Tanoi, this is the exact Machlok as Tanoim, in terms of why is it that a father is making his son a Nazir. The Rebbe Savar Halacha Ibn Nazir, Rebbe holds that it's like a Halacha L'Moshe Misina by Nazir, and therefore the Halacha L'Moshe Misina applies all the way until maturity, while the son is a minor. V'yafagav, the Higiyah L'Onas Nadarim, even if the son reaches the age of Onas Nadarim, Madir Levi Yozel, Ademaisi Shtei Saros, he can continue to make him into a Nazir until he brings forth two hairs. Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yehuda, and Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yehuda, do Amar at Shegil Onas Nadarim, who says that you're only able to do this until he reaches the age of Onas Nadarim, which is earlier than full maturity. Savar Kadei Lachan Chobemitzas, he holds that this whole idea by Nazirus making a person's son into a Nazir is an idea of Chinuch. Mekev and Dinafik Me Rishus, and once the son leaves his Rishus, which is the idea of Onas Nadarim, Sasulo Mechayev. So then there's no longer a Chiyav anymore in terms of Chinuch, and that's why it does not apply. 
And the Gemara says, not necessarily. Amri, they say as follows, Lo, no. It could be everybody agrees this is a halacha l'moshi misinai by Nazir, that we say that by Nazir, a father can make his son a Nazir. And what they're arguing about is mufla hasamach li'ish, which is exactly what we're talking about over here. Let's say you have a katan who reaches the age, he's still a minor, but he reaches the age where he understands what a nether is. That's what they're arguing about. Rebbe savar mufla hasamach li'ish durabbanan. Rebbe holds that mufla hasamach li'ish, when we say that he has the status of an adult in terms of an adoram, that's just a halacha midurabbanan. So the Doraisa Halacha, which we're saying now everybody agrees it's a Halacha Lemosh Misinai, that a father can make his son into a Nazar, that Doraisa Halacha can push off the Halacha Midrabbonim. Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yehuda, Savan, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yehuda says, Mufla HaSamach Leish Do Raisa, the din of Mufla HaSamach Leish is Do Raisa, and therefore when he reaches that age already, the father cannot make him a Nazar. Vibay is saying, and if you want, I could say a different approach. Everybody agrees that the idea of a father making his son a nazir is a din of chinuch. And really, the halach of mufla hasamach leish that's also a din der abonon. And the machlokus would be as follows: Rabbi Savar asi chinuch der abonon v'dachi mufla hasamach leish. Rabbi holds that chinuch der abonon can push off mufla hasamach leish, which is which is der abonon. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehuda, do Amar at Shiagi alonas nedarim. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehuda says that the halacha to make one's son a nazir is only until Onas Nadarim, because Savar he holds low asi chinuch der abonon v'dachi mufla hasamach leish that the chinuch der abonon cannot come along. And push off Mufla Samach Leish. Rashi over here says, Mufla Samach Leish, Katan Shiyodei Lahaflos Vilomar. Again, we're saying a minor who knows or understands the idea of a vow, Bizman Shu Samach Leish, meaning he's near the age of manhood. At the Hainu Ben Yud Gimel, the Shemi Nadar, the Shemi Kiddish, he understands what he's doing, who he's taking the nether for, etc. Rabbi Savar Mufla Samach Leish, Midar Abonan, who Rabbi holds that Mufla Samach Leish is a Dinder Abonan. The Bodkanes Nadar of him, Yodei Alaminadar, this whole idea that we check to see if he understands what a nether is, who he took the vow to. Shemakai Mestavar, he understands he has to fulfill what he's saying. Vilka Halok Halamosh Misina, he bin Nazir, Dav Ma. Has been over Nazir. Therefore, if you're going to say that there's a halacha l'moshe misinai that the father can make his son a Nazir, asi do raisa v'dachli derabbanon. The idea would be that a do raisa can come along and push off a derabbanon. And the Gemara continues, Let us say that this Machlokas Tanoim that we just brought above is the same as the Machlokas Tanoim in the following Brisa. The Tanya is we learned in a Brisa, and this is from the Tosefta. There was a story with Rabbi Chanina, that his father made him into a Nazir. And they brought him before Rabbi Gamliel. And Rabbi Gamliel was checking him to see if he brought forth the two hairs of maturity or not, meaning he wanted to see if he was really an adult already, so then the Nazirus would not take effect. Rabbi Yossi, Omer Rabbi Yossi says, no, he wasn't checking whether he was mature, rather he was checking Leida im Higial Onas Nedorim im Lav. He was seeing if he reached the time when he's able to make vows, already a year before maturity again, as we said, that's the point in time when the Katan is able to be examined to see if he understands what a neder is, what a vow is, and that's what Rabbi Gamliel was, saying, was, was inspecting to see whether he reached that age, and again, the Nazirus would not be Chal. Amar lo, so in any case, Rabbi Chanina, he said to Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi, my Rabbi, al titzdar livod keni, don't worry about checking me, it doesn't make any difference. Because im katanani, because if I'm a minor, eye b'shvil abba, then I'm a nazir, because my father made me a nazir. And im godalani, but if I'm an adult, eye b'shvil atzmi, so then I'll be a, ne- I'll be a nazir on my own, because I have the ability to make myself a nazir. So in other words, he told him, it doesn't really make any difference, you don't need to check and see. Amr Rav Gamliel Unashakal Rosho Sir Gamliel got up and he kissed him on his head. Amr and he said, "Mufta Chani Baza." I'm certain about this child. Shemora Halacha Be Yisrael that he will issue rulings in Klal Yisrael. Amr and they said, "Lo Hayu Yamim Muatim." It was only a few years at Shehora Hora Be Yisrael, and he was able to issue rulings in Klal Yisrael. And so the Gemara now analyzes this brisa. B'Shalom Rav Yosi Rav Yehuda. I understand according to Rav Yosi Rav Yehuda, the Amarat Shiagi Elonas Nadarim, who says that what was happening was that the a father is only able to make his son a Nazir until Onas Nadarim, and so that makes sense what the child was saying over here. Hainu Dukamer, that's what he meant to say. Im Katanani, if I am a minor, meaning with regards to Nadarim, if I'm a minor, Ayeb B'Shvila, but then I'm going to be a Nazir because of what my father, because my father made me a Nazir. Ela the Rebbe Damarat Shiyavi Shtei Saras, but according to Rebbe who says that even until the person 
person has, until the child brings forth two hairs, the father is able to make him into a Nazir, even though he really is already an adult in terms of, of, of Nazir. So if I'm a Godel, then I can make myself. It's not true. Even if he's a Godel in terms of Nadarim, the father still is going to have control until, the, until he reaches the point of actual physical maturity. And Rashi explains, Rabbi Yossi Omer, Leida Bishlom Rabbi Yossi. It's good according to Rabbi Yossi. Do Amar Ho'ish Eno Madras Beno Ela Ad Shiagi Elo Onas Nadarim, who says the father is only able to make his son a Nazir until the time of Onas Nadarim. Hainu Dukamrim Katanani. That's why the child said, if I'm a minor, meaning Shalom Higazi Elo Onas Nadarim. If I haven't reached Onas Nadarim, Ehi Nazir Bishvelav, I'll be a Nazir because my father. Vim Godalani, but if I'm an adult, Shehi Gati Elo Onas Nadarim, meaning I've reached Onas Nadarim, Ehi Bishvelatsmi, then I'm going to be a Nazir on my own account. Elo le Rebbe, but according to Rebbe, Ha'afa gav the Havi Godel, even if the child was considered an adult, the Higia le Onas Nadarim, meaning he reached Onas Nadarim, but still, but still he's in the Rishus of his father, La Haziru, who's able to make him into a Nazir, because of Amar, actually, Yavish Saras, but Yadov, La Hazirus, but no, it says again, Rebbe says, until he brings forth two hairs, the father is able to make his son into a Nazir, so the language of the child in this Brisa does not make sense, according to Rebbe, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video. And Daf Lamid Ahmed Aleph.